Candace Owens is the host of Candace. She joins us tonight to unravel this mystery. So, so here, Candace, thanks so much for coming on. So here, George Soros does not live in Austin, Texas. Don't think he ever has. He's not actually from this country originally. Why would he want Austin, Texas to have fewer police officers on the street? That's a very good question. And first and foremost, I'm so tired of the left pretending like we've picked George Soros to be our boogeyman. Like, oh, yeah. he's not a bad guy, but there goes the right talking about George Soros. Right. Every time this man spends money, it, it, it is towards an effort that is going to undo American civilization. Notoriously, obviously, he defunded Black Lives Matter. All the rioting, all the protests, the Open Foundation so Society, which, which is his foundation, gave money to all of these causes. And you ask yourself, why? He's a billionaire. If he wanted to help people or help black people, he doesn't need to give it to Black Lives Matter. He can give it to tons of other causes that actually do work to help black people and don't right. destroy their communities. But here we have him again in the same type of initiative going against police officers, and you ask yourself why. Well, you know, if I'm going to fathom an idea or a theory as to why he's doing this, George Soros is a man that made his money in investments. So we have to ask ourselves, what is he doing? What is he invested in that would his, his investments would go long? He would do well in his investments if America was undone, if major cities were undone. I don't know. Maybe he's going long on China. Why would he benefit from a, an American America doesn't really exist. I've also said this to you many times in the past, Tucker, and I want to say it again. I think what the left is after more than anything is the federalization of the police force. I've been saying yes. this over and over again. Look at the American story right now. It is the exact same story of every country that has converted from a capitalist, thriving society into a socialist society. They need to federalize the police force to make sure that the federal government has the most control. It's the only thing that makes sense. Again, the question, why does George Soros want to see that? Why does George Soros want to see the collapse of America? Well, he has to be invested in a country that isn't America. I think that's a really good hypothesis. I think also there is hate at the core of this. I mean, why would you systematically go to cities you've never lived in and make them more dangerous? You know that's going to result in more murders. Everyone, I mean, it's not complicated, but you do it anyway. You clearly are angry at the country. Yeah, or or you're just a person that that wants to make money. I think I really do believe that money is the root of all evil, and I think that George Soros is a person that cares passionately about money. I think he cares about becoming successful. I don't think hate is enough to drive George Soros. Of course, at the core of this is always hate, right? You have to hate America. You have to hate American right. society, or at least not care That's for it right. very much. But the sad part is, is that the people that are suffering are the people that live in Austin, people that have lived there for so long, who are now suffering, who are fearful that they're not going to have a police force, a local police force that can protect its citizens. They want things to get so bad in Austin, so bad in New York, so bad in Chicago, that just like Lori Lightfoot is calling for in Chicago, we need help. Send in reinforcements. Please, somebody send something from the yeah. federal level. I think you're going to see that happening a lot across this country. But the real crime is criticizing a billionaire. <laughs> you can't do that. You're yeah, a bigot. Exactly. Oh, yeah. <laughs> can't say anything about No criticizing about the yeah, billionaires. Yeah, over and over again. Yeah, I absolutely. It. I mean, I remember Candace. I criticized him and talked about his money as well, and they, they accuse you of being anti-Semitic. And I'm like, I didn't originally even know that he was Jewish. I'm talking about where he's spending his money. It's not good. A lot of people are intimidated. You're not, though. Candace Owens, I appreciate your coming on tonight. Thank you. <laughs> hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News' YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.